It's so obvious. It's going on. Jonah, I'm a hopper. What? Oh my god, that was really aggressive. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I hate that guy. Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of What the Hell is Wrong with This Guy? And the guy we're talking about is the one and only Alex Warren. I don't know how to describe it other than this this guy's, um, he's on crack, okay kids? And I recently made a video about this guy talking about how he is trying his absolute hardest to become David Dobrik. Unsuccessfully, might I add. Look, my guy, there is only one David Dobrik. And you're like the cheap wannabe knockoff brand dollar store David Dobrik. You're like the David Dobrik that someone bought off a of wish. I don't want to be too mean, but all I'm saying is we got Chanel and we got Walmart. There's a distinct difference. But okay, let me stop. I don't want to roast this guy too hard. I don't want to be mean. I am the cutest guy around. I meant to say nicest, but both are true. Can we just take a seat and talk about the hard evidence as to why exactly I think this man is copying David Dobrik? Now, there's been a lot of people making videos about this guy lately, and pretty much everyone is saying the exact same thing. And pretty much what that is, is that Alex Warren does not want to be Alex Warren. In reality, he wants to be another man that's named DD. David Dobrik. Uh, this whole situation is just weird, and it, it's it's really starting to freak me out. If anything, like, at first, I was like, okay, like, that's weird. He's doing all these things, like, to make his videos similar to David, and he's acting like David. But now, I feel like I'm just a little concerned. I don't... I don't know what's going on in his noggin, but I think someone flipped the switch and um, they fucked him up. And you know what? The one thing that I really just cannot wrap my head around is the fact that he is still a very successful YouTuber. This man built up like a YouTube empire with over a million subscribers and everything he posts is a lie. All I'm saying is this man is lucky he's not Pinocchio because that nose would be to the fucking moon and back. But all right, I think it is about time that we get into the hard evidence. I went ahead and did a little bit of research and I found some things that really just, um, they don't take Tickle me the right way, if you will. This is just gonna be a list of things that this guy does that kinda just prove that this guy, he's on crack. Okay, maybe not actually on crack, but he wants to be David Dobrik. All right, let's get into it. Now, the very first thing I want to mention, and I did actually mention this in my last video, is the David Dobrik laugh. David Dobrik is obviously known for his laugh, and this guy, he's gotten pretty damn good at mimicking it, to the point where it's just fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, that is all I'm gonna say about that because I've already mentioned this in my last video But this just so happens to be like the main number one thing that makes everyone say that he's copying David Because once you start sounding like David, I'm freaked the fuck out Now let's go ahead and get into some of the juicy stuff, shall we? Hey, let's get juicy Um, <clears throat> I'm sorry, that was weird So as we all know by now, Alex really likes to copy and do some of the same exact bits that David does in his vlogs Well, one of the really big bits in David's vlogs is the big science experiments. You know, David usually has his scientist friend that come over and they do some crazy science shit that blows my fucking mind and it usually looks like this. Alright guys, we're here with Nick the scientist. We're doing the science experiment that we did a couple months ago, but this time we're doing it three times bigger. Right now in there is acid. Uh, <laughs> it's 35% hydrogen peroxide. Well, I recently noticed while watching one of Alex's vlogs that there's something pretty interesting going on here. We can, but we can just take a look. So this is Dom. What's up, guys? We're about to do some cool science experiments. We are? I'm, I'm not a scientist, by the way. I just made all this up. <laughs> <laughs> so we're now ill-equipped for this. <laughs> Three, two, one. Holy shit! Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! <laughs> Wait a second, something weird is going on here. Something smells a little fishy here. I can't quite put my finger on it. Oh wait, yes I can. Yes, I can. Is that literally a knockoff David Dobrik bringing in a knockoff scientist friend Nick? This man has, is, <laughs> this man has really just gone too far at this point. I don't think it could get any more obvious than that. That was literally the same exact bit. And he set it up the same exact way. I mean, because there are so many other ways you could have introduced it. You could have just done a random science experiment in your vlog. I don't know. I'm just saying this man, once again, he's on crack. And moving on to the next evidence. It's pretty juicy too. So as we all know, David is known for giving out crazy amounts of money. Which actually reminds me, um, I could I could really use some money right now. Um, if David happens to be watching this, you look so fucking handsome today, it's insane. Anyway, let's just go ahead and take a look at David giving away some money real quick. We just met this guy named Kevin. He wants us to go surprise the girl of his dreams because she watches the videos and she's a DACA recipient, he's a DACA recipient, and I'm a DACA recipient. You work three jobs. Your mom just got out of surgery. Mm -hmm. And you have a kid. Yes. And I go to school. 
You go to school? Yeah. Damn it, I should have brought something like to give you. I, no. I have changed in my pocket. Everything in my pocket. I have no. 20, no. $25. No, I don't need anything. Oh, wait, hold on. Just kidding. Oh, and a check for $25,000. No, no, no. Whoa. Oh my god, Dave, you're pulling at my heartstrings. Look at you. Well, Alex recently decided to give away some money to. And now, let's take a look at the dollar store, David Dobrik, doing the exact same thing. So, guys, I partnered with Cash Up today to give my sister $10,000 to pay for her college. You guys didn't know I have three siblings. Ashley, Lauren, and Grant. And my youngest sister, Ashley, and I have been through a lot of shit. Wait a second, something seems really familiar here. Has anyone else noticed how David likes to set things up by sitting down and just doing a little clip of him talking? Well, our dollar store David Dobrik kind of likes to do the same thing. You know, I've, I feel like we watched the same exact thing twice. But okay, that was just the intro, that was just setting everything up. Let's go ahead and take a look at the juiciest part of Alex's video. If you don't know, this is Ashley, this is my sister. We, uh, we haven't seen each other in a little bit. It's been a bit of time. You and I went through shit. Yeah. We had a pretty shitty childhood, okay? Yeah. I did not get to graduate high school, and I did not get to go to college. So I, I spoke to Cash App, my friends, about you. You know that app I just had you download. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to give you $10,000. So you can go to college. Wow, okay, holy shit. That reaction right there, that just sent me into another dimension. I don't know if I've ever seen anyone as excited as that girl right there. I mean, did you see that? The excitement in her eyes, the way she reacted, everything that she said. Actually though, it kind of looks like this girl might be held up at gunpoint and being forced to be in this video. That's just what it looks like. I just, I just want to say that was the worst reaction I've ever seen. I mean, that part right there, the reaction, that wasn't copying David or anything. It was just the worst reaction I've ever seen. I just had to point that out. I'm sorry. Alex's sister, I'm sure you're great. You're a great person. But your brother, your brother's on crack. Now moving on, I would just like to point out something kind of interesting that Alex recently said in a vlog. People will never stop calling me a David Dobrik wannabe. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> so at this point, it is very clear that this man is very well aware of everything that everyone is saying about him. He clearly knows that everyone is saying that he's copying David Dover. And it kind of looks like he just does not care. I have a feeling that in his mind, he's just thinking the fact that everyone is already saying it and everyone knows that he's copying David Dover, it's all okay. And now he can embrace it. And he can truly be the David wannabe that he wants to be. Well, I actually have one little thing I just wanted to say to Alex real quick. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna need you to stop. I don't, I don't, I don't know why there's a knife in my hand. That's so weird. Um, I'm just gonna put that away, but I just want you to know that you're gonna have to stop. I don't want to get the authorities involved, but I'm pretty sure you're gonna try to skin David at some point. And I just can't let you go loose wearing David's skin. I don't know if I'd be able to live with myself at that point. But you know what? I think that's everything I have to say on the subject. But let me just say to you, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big old thumbs up for me. I would really appreciate that. Damn. And also, definitely let me know in a comment below what you think of this whole situation. Do you think there's something seriously wrong with this guy? Or is it just me? And let me just say, if you are not yet subscribed to me, I think you know what to do. <laughs> all right, well, let me just say, thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you all again very soon. But until next time, peace. Surprise, it's me again. I bet you thought you saw the last of me, but no, I am still here. I, uh, I kind of just wanted to drop by because I had to say just one more thing. So I already went ahead, I filmed that entire video, but after filming that, I've just been sitting here thinking and it really just hit me and I came to a realization just how weird this whole situation is. And I was thinking and I was like, what if it was like another YouTuber that this was happening to? Let's say it was happening to Shane Dawson. Can you just imagine if there was another popular YouTuber that was copying Shane Dawson? Like, just think about another YouTuber that was making conspiracy theory videos and documentaries, and he was snorting like Shane when he laughed, and if he was drinking Diet Coke all the time, and if he had a boyfriend named Rylan, and what if this other YouTuber had a makeup collection that he worked on for Jeffree Star for months and it was a smash hit? <sighs> Can you just imagine that? Yeah, I don't know. That just all hit me at once, and it's just its just really weird to think about. And that whole Shane Dawson thing, that was just a little scenario I made up. But the thing with David, that's actually happening. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm done. I just wanted to say that real quick, but I, I'll actually leave now. But once again, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you all again very soon. Peace. Bye.